humidity is certainly lower. That's right, Jana. That's one big difference in the forecast. That's uh, been a good thumbs up for us to make it feel more comfortable outside, but definitely seeing a little bit of cloud cover rolling through right now. And we could see this lasting with us through uh, the next few hours before we see those skies clearing later tonight. But as far as looking at temperatures right now, uh, we are or actually temperatures from today. I should say the high temperature getting up to 89 at Bushfield, 87 at Daniel Field after starting off at 57 and then 66. So a large difference between the two airports for those lows, but highs. Uh, pretty similar in the upper 80s. As far as the forecast for this evening, we'll keep those skies partly cloudy with a few clouds rolling through right now, and we'll see temperatures in the mid to low 80s as we do finish off your evening heading towards sunset. There is going to be a passage of the International Space Station for tonight, so as long as those clouds do clear out before 9 p.m., we would have decent viewing conditions, but if we do see those clouds hanging on a little bit longer than expected, that could uh, trump this view for tonight, but it's not going to be a super great passage, and we are going to have two more opportunities the next two nights for some pretty decent views of it even better than tonight. But this starts at 904 uh, entering the northwest sky, departing towards the east, and you want to get to somewhere that's relatively flat like Clarks Hill Lake uh, or an, an airport where you can get a good view of the horizon since that max height is only at about 29 degrees. As far as looking at morning low temperatures, uh, we're looking at those in the upper 50s, low 60s for tomorrow morning. So it'll be a noticeably cooler start below average for sure. And we'll see some cooler starts through Saturday morning with upper 50s in the forecast. Won't see those 60s for low temperatures until Sunday. Monday into Monday morning of next week. Looking at your hour by hour for tomorrow, lots of sunshine in store and we'll see those temperatures staying below average in those low to mid 80s for high temperatures across the area. We'll continue to see though a mostly dry pattern courtesy of our jet stream staying in that ridge like formation. So you can see this deep dig right here across the northeast will contribute to some active weather for them. But across our area, we stay away from any of those uh, deep digs in the jet stream, which will promote just uh, kind of below average temperatures, but also some dry weather. It's not really until Sunday that we'll see an increase in atmospheric moisture that could give us a slightly better chance of seeing an isolated shower or storm across the area. But those rain chances even then still isolated, mainly driven by uh, daytime heating. And it seems like we'll be holding it to a similar pattern as we head towards the beginning of next week with those daily chances for some of those pop up showers and storms. But temperatures do stay below average through Monday. We'll see the upper 80s back by Monday. Okay, not too bad. Thank you, Mikkel. Still ahead, the help not harm.